now, whenever you want. Okay. Hello everyone. Today we're presenting chapter nine, organizing your speech. So before we get into the chapter, I would I would like to let you know why you should learn to organize a speech. So organization empowers a speech. This is a very important point. Furthermore, developing an understanding of organizational patterns has advantages, making it easier for you, both as a speaker and listener, to give and follow lectures and process information. Moving on. This is the table of contents that I'll present today. Uh, we'll start with citations, then understanding speech organization, use linear organizational forms, use configurable formats, and then the conclusion. Okay, citations. Uh, Gamble, Terry Qual, and Michael Gamble, The Public Speaking Playbook, Sage 2020. Okay, first section. Understand speech organization. So this is a very simple uh, section. We begin by introducing the topic, offering a preview of, of what's to come. And this done, we go on to discuss the topic, developing it fully. And then we wrap up with a concluding statement that summarizes the main points and ties the presentation together. And the last step will be by building a certain amount of repetition to a speech, a speaker improves receiver comprehension. So like what this section is, like the main focus of this section will be like, in a speech, you should like focus on one main idea and focus through, through it throughout the presentation. Okay, uh, use organizational forms. A speech has a linear format if it is main points developed and relate to directly to the topic sentence. When using linear logic, a speaker develops ideas step by step, relying on facts and data to support each main point. There are five linear approaches to ordering material. There are chronological, spatial, cause and effect, problem solution, and topical order. Chronological uh, format is to describe a series of uh, sequential developments. Uh, spatial describe physical arrangement of objects in space. Uh, cause and effect to, cate to categorize an event and relevant materials into those related to cause and effect of an event. Problem solution identify a problem that needs Resolution and then a solution to elevate the problem. And the last one, topical order, to highlight the natural divisions of a topic. This last one is tricky because like, they made topical order because it does not fit in into the four formats that are above it. Okay, uh, use configurable formats. There are three main systems of configurable organization. First is the deferred thesis pattern in which the main point of a speech guard builds up to the speaker's thesis. Second is the web pattern in which threads of thought refer back to the speaker's central purpose. Third is the narrative pattern in which the speaker tells uh, a story or series without stating a thesis or developing with main points. Okay, uh, to conclude, um, organization empowers a speech. Speech strategies organized by linear logic present, su present support and evidence in a very direct speaker responsible way. And in contrast, the configurable formats are less explicit in offering hard evidence in defense of a position. Okay, before I finish my presentation, I would like to ask if you have any questions so far? No? Okay. Okay, so that'll be the end of the presentation. Thank you everyone for listening.